Yo, what's up, my mix? My name's Nitrix, and welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft, and this is episode 28. So we're almost at 30, and you know what that means? Nothing. <laughs> yeah, so basically, I tried to add some carpet here because, you know, it was a little bit boring. I don't know if you guys agree, but a little bit too much wood for my liking. I felt like everything was wood. So I went to the sheep farm to get some more blue because I needed some more blue to finish this off, uh, like so. And I'm not actually sure if I want to keep it like this. Maybe it looks a little strange. Maybe, actually, I should break one more, like so. And then it looks maybe a little bit less strange. Actually, I like that a lot more. That's what I'm going to do. Dun, 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 dun. All right, so that's what we're going to do for this part. Oh, didn't mean to open the door there. And yeah, I feel like I'm adding a lot of carpet everywhere. But, I mean, it looks better now, doesn't it? Mm. I hope you agree. And this ladder, it's kind of a fail way of getting up here. So maybe we'll think of another way. Maybe you guys are more intelligent than me in the matter. And I still feel like there's too much wood here. But one thing I want to show you guys is the completed theater. The theater, which is fully completed, I think. So we're going to go check that out. This part, obviously, looking as nice as ever. And I don't know why two have black and one doesn't. Don't ask me. Not my problem. And actually, I need to complete the ceiling here still. But let's check the cell. Let's go this way. So we got the nice wood, the nice colors. We got the triple change rooms with the little design and the mirror. And the ceilings look fresh. And then finally, the sitting area. Yeah, it's kind of underwhelming. but uh, And these are actually the same color. I know, right? I didn't think they were the same color either until I put light on this one and realized, yup, Minecraft is just trolling all of us. So that's the whole theater, basically, in its entirety. And this is where you sit to chill or when you're like nerve-wrackingly getting ready to jump on the stage. And this is where the guy stands and yells at you like, what are you doing? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't see why he would yell at you, but I think he tells you the lines or whatever. I'm not really a theater person, so I can't tell you that much, but... The bowling alley is still under construction, so we'll return to that on a later date. Now, one thing I wanted to do today was finally finish this guest room, which I said I was going to finish in, like, episode 10. But we're not going to do that first because I came up with what I think is a really cool idea, and I'm really excited to share with you guys. So stay with me. Basically, bear with me here. I don't know if it'll sound cool right out the start, but you got to bear with me. You think we can do that together? I think so. So basically, let me hide this real quick. All right, so it looks all normal, right? And we talked about this before. Bang, I made it like 18 episodes ago or something. So we head down here, and that is where I'm planning to make, na 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 na, idea is ready to be, drum roll please. I'm planning to make a huge underground secret city that's under this entire area and that it has like shops and stuff and it's underground and it's super secret and it's like from that one book where all the people are like bald and live underground I can't remember the name from that book that is exactly what we're gonna do and then we're gonna bring villagers in and then the people will really be bald and underground and it'll just be like a dream come true <sighs> hopefully a dream come true for everyone so what we're gonna do is grab ourselves all the TNT that I created and we're gonna head down and blow some stuff up so I'll prepare the TNT and then I'll be back with you guys when it's time to explosion all right I think we're prepared for explosion one I gotta say something guys this is definitely not gonna be safe but we're gonna head go ahead and go with it anyways so light that run Let's see what happens. Okay, the lag is real. Whoa. That was pretty big. That was a pretty big explosion. Sick, yo. That's awesome. All right, so that was explosion one. Now we got to do a few more. So this is city, city big, I guess you can say. I don't know how an underground city is going to work. I have no idea, but I think I've never seen it before. I don't know if it exists. Probably someone has already made it, but I personally have never seen such a thing. And it seems amazing. It would seem like an awesome idea. So, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What is that? Ah, <sighs> There's too many caves in here already. Which helps, actually, so maybe that's a good thing. 
So, what we're going to do is go through with some more explosions. I'll be back in a sec. Well, hello everyone. I'm back, and I made this little staircase so that I can get back up to the place and I lit it up obviously because we don't want this to turn into a monster farm we want it to turn into a nice town so this is gonna be like explosion central in a sec and I hope you're ready cuz I sure am let's see how big this explosion really is well that's a pretty big explosion if I say so myself it's a little deeper than I thought but It'll do. Let's see. Does this? Where does this take me? Please don't tell me. Actually, let me check the coordinates. Please don't tell me that this takes me above ground. I hope not. That would be crazy. Okay, good. It doesn't. So let me just block that off. Because I don't want any water flowing now. I could ride it down. Now, what I need to do is straighten all this shenanigans. So I will start by doing that right now. Oh, did I mess it up? Okay, no. Perfect. I did not. Okay, so. That is taken care of. So obviously, as I said, I now have to straighten all of this. So I will be back when a certain area is straight and we can begin doing something. I'll be back in a sec, everybody. So you can guess what this straightening took. That's right. A whole lot of stone. <laughs> yeah, I wasted a bunch of a uh, bunch of coal and a bunch of cobblestone. Mostly the stuff that I mined, actually, and ex that exploded in the ginormous explosions of death in our uh, town. By the way, I'm trying to think of a name for this underground town. I was thinking, you know, the underwater city of Atlantis? Well, this is like underground. It's kind of the same thing. So it could be like the underground city of Nitrixlis. Yeah, I, I never was actually thinking that. I sort of just came up with that on the spot. But you know, maybe for the laws, we'll call it Nitrixlis. Nitrixlis. Kind of has a ring to it. Nitrixlis. Nitrixlis. Not at all. <laughs> Alright, well, you know what? I don't care. That's where we're going. Where does this lead? Don't tell me this leads outside. That ruins, like, the whole secretness of it. Oh, no. Where does this lead? Where is this? Where am I? Oh, my God. You can come in through here, too. I guess that's, like, actually, this could be, like, a better secret entrance. Possibly. I'm not 100% sure. I like my uh, my secret entrance through the stairs. Maybe you know what I'll do? Oh, that's dark, so we're not going there. Maybe what I'll do is what I was thinking. Here, hold on. Let me let me walk back. It's going to be hard to explain. Okay, what I was thinking is this secret entrance goes out through the wall, and then inside the wall, I have like a, a little store or something there, and in the basement or in the attic is where the secret entrance leads to. So that's how you go in. Now here what I want to make is some sort of road. Now I haven't decided how, how big it's going to be. I know for sure that it's going to be odd numbered. Now I was thinking of using this gray wool because I haven't actually used that for anything like ever. So let's see. I have four blocks on this side. If I want four blocks on this side, it should be right there. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. Okay, let's see. Well, that's seven blocks. I mean, that looks pretty good. Maybe I can make it a little narrower. I'm not 100% sure how this should go. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe a little bit narrower. Let's see. Guys, don't call me crazy. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying my best here. <laughs> um, yeah, I think actually narrower is better. I think five block road will be sufficient. Now, I'm wondering what, I'm, what the most important part is. How I'm going to put the lines to make it look like a road. And also, I probably shouldn't have added all this stone, because now I'm like, ugh. See, now I'm like removing like half of it. I never think ahead. That's my problem in Minecraft. That is my biggest flaw. My tragic flaw. And I'm a tragic hero. I don't know if you did that in English class. Um, also, I brought white wool. And I'm going to see if the white line is better. It's a little bit big, that line. What do you guys think? It looks a little bit ginormous. I don't know. Let's see. Mm, it's not that bad, I guess. If we do that, and then uh, maybe I should make it a little bit wider. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna break some of this, and then I'll play along with it a little bit, and I will see. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be falling in the whole time. All right. So I'm gonna make this road, and I'll be back in a sec when the road is complete. So, finally, when I thought that this gray wool would never amount to anything and would be sad and alone in my uh, chest forever, 
it decided to make itself useful. I mean, finally, it's about time. I've had it forever. I had like three stacks, or I never have three stacks of wool. I always use it on something. Although I have to admit, I have a lot of yellow wool too, because, well, yellow wool just isn't that useful. It looks a little bit gross in my opinion, so I don't use it too much, but I don't know about you guys. All right, so that's my little road. So now I wanna add sidewalk. And that, of course, is accomplished by the lovely Sloan Slab. And that looks like a legit sidewalk, I think. So what I have to do now is go all the way across. Oh, that's not what I had to do. A lot of times when I'm saying what I have to do, I end up doing exactly the opposite. <laughs> but I also had to... Uh, do I have enough? Yeah, hopefully I have enough. I also had to put another, another, invest another diamond into my pick because it was almost gone. Almost. I almost lost it for a sec, so thankfully I remembered in time. I don't actually know how all that works. I just know that it was close and I don't want to use iron tools anymore, so I'm just going to keep upgrading this iron pick with my, uh, <laughs> with the levels that I get because what's the point of trying to get another one that's just as good? I haven't got one. That's, uh, what's it called? Um, unbreaking and efficiency. That's just sick. So I haven't got one of those yet, except for the very first one. And this very first one will last a very, very, very long time. I can assure you that. <laughs> but hopefully this looks kind of like a sidewalk. Don't make fun of me if it doesn't, because, uh, yeah, you know, whatever. It looks pretty cool. Uh, but don't make fun of me if you don't like it, because I think this is cool, and that would be hurting my feelings. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, let's see. Will I have enough? Unfortunately, I will not have enough. But stone <laughs> stone slabs are one thing that's easy to get if there's anything. Uh, and maybe I should add some glowstone right in the middle. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need to do that for now. I'll add some lighting so that I don't have any bad guys spawning in here. I need to break this, too actually you see that you see that miscalculation I had one more to fill in this spot see now I'm only missing six so I miscalculated by six which isn't too bad okay so this is my beautiful indoor street and now what we do is actually we don't have any stone slabs ah stone slabs you need them for everything fine I'll be back with some stone slab burb Honestly, I have to be honest with you guys, the more I look at this, the more I think it's cool. <laughs> Although I don't have any glowstone at the moment, which is kind of a bummer, so maybe we make another trip soon. Okay, okay. Another trip it is. I don't know when. It will be soon. And I love this white stained clay, so I'm going to attempt to make a little shop. I don't know how exactly I'm going to attempt to do that, but that is my plan. There's the entrance to the shop. I like to start with a door. I don't know about you guys, but when I'm building, it's like a door first and then everything else. And the door is the most important. You know what I mean? Like you see the first thing you walk in, you see the door. So it's clearly the most important thing. And that is not even up for argument. No, no, sir. Or ma'am. I don't know uh, what you like to be called, but doors are the most important. That is my take on things. <laughs> I don't know how you guys build. Uh, maybe you build from the back first, and then you're like, huh, now I need a door. But me personally, I always have a door before I even start. Or a doorway, at least. You know, at least a doorway. If you're not going to go as far as to build a door, at least make the doorway. Um, so I don't even know what's going to be inside this, but I'm already building the door. That's how important that door is. Uh, I'm just joking. I'm putting. A, I'm just joking about that. I'm putting a little too much emphasis on doors. The word "door" is starting to sound weird, isn't it? Like door, 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 door. See, that sounds weird now. I ruined it. I ruined it for everybody. Okay, so this looks more like a dragon's mouth than a a, a nice shop. It's like a cave entrance, but you know what? Fine. It's fine. It's all good. I just want to see how it looks like from the outside when there's actually something here. You guys can actually let me know what you want this to be because I'm not planning on finishing this store right now because I want to do other stuff. But you guys can tell me, and I actually have no specific idea for what I want that to be. So maybe if I break a little bit of this, obviously, so you, it's a little more visible. And this will need to be broken eventually anyways because it has to level out. Ah, Okay. So I'll break a little more. Okay, so now let's check. Yes, yes, that looks lovely. 
That looks pretty cool. It looks kind of like SpongeBob SquarePants style. But it looks like Patrick's Rock. Yeah, that's what it'll be. I don't actually know what it'll be. You guys let me know. Maybe I'll break out some more area on both sides so the full houses can fit. But this is so far the underground city. And now we're going to go do something else for a little bit before we end the episode. So believe it or not, <laughs> I've actually been playing with this for quite some while. It's so much fun. Like, look, open, close. And it looks like so nice. It's like nothing there. Flip the lever. It's all of a sudden it's like, whoa. But obviously this needs to be different. I don't know how I'm going to change that. I have to make that lever more secret. So let me know if you guys have any ideas as to how... I will approach this brawl. Maybe like a pressure plate with one of those with one of those flip-flop switches. <sighs> we'll see. But anyways, um, right now, what I'm gonna be doing is ta-da! Decorating the guest room. I wanna make this guest room so nice that all you guests would like to sleep in it. That that's how nice it needs to be. That's pretty nice. I mean your guys' standards are pretty high, right? Right? Right, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, yeah, I basically brought all the materials I could think of. Uh, I don't know how that's gonna work, but I was thinking glass roof. Came to mind, glass roof, that's what we're gonna go with for the time being. And hopefully I brought enough glass. We'll actually see if I run out of glass in a sec. But I think I brought a stack, that should be enough. Should be enough to fix any problems we might have. If only I can reach all the areas. Wow, look at that hard to reach spot. Oof, oof. Oof, okay. See, that guy is going to be a little bit smushed in glass. His face is going to be a little bit hurt. But I don't feel bad for him, actually, so neither should you. That could be you right there. You could be my guest, after all. Um, you, specifically you, is who I'm talking to. Yeah, not anyone else. Nope, not the other guy who's watching this video, but you specifically, that's who I'm talking to. Yeah, you. So here I'm going to try to put a desk. And we'll see how that works. Probably not too well, actually. But how many do I need? Three? Three. Okay. Now I put these on top. Poof. 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 Does that look like a desk? Ah, say yes so I feel better. Okay, good. And luckily... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I forgot my diamonds here. Those are important. Okay, so luckily I left my crafting bench over here. My nifty crafting bench. So I can use that to create a sitting chair. Uh, 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 uh. Maybe, actually, I should use different material. Second thought, I don't have very many materials, so we'll go with this. Okay. Do I need signs? No, I think that looks good. I think that looks solid. But also, I need some more fences, so this looks more safe. Because you don't want... Oh, actually... That looks even more random, so we'll ignore the fences, and we'll just pretend it looks safe. How's that? Good? Great. Now, I'm thinking I might put a ladder on the other side, too, and it's got to be, like, symmetrical, you know what I mean? But I don't know what I'm going to do about this flooring or these windows. I know what I'm going to do, actually. I need a door, and I'm going to put some... Da -da -da -da. And this is why I brought these, you know... It's got to have a little bit of blue. So I guess the theme then is going to be blue. And we can't fit one on this side. Lovely. Isn't it lovely when you plan things out and they fail? Because you didn't plan them out, actually. Ah, that looks like so bad. We're going to need a two. Oh, you're going to need a two man door, unfortunately. We're going to need to break this glass. Where is my wood? There's my wood. Okay, sick. Ah? You guys are like, Jesus, biggest failure ever. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> no, probably not. Hopefully, hopefully that's not the case. You guys wouldn't do that to me. You might actually. <laughs> okay, I need to get rid of some stuff. So I have some two doors. Put these two doors down. Hopefully the zombies don't start piling in and breaking these doors. But, you know, that is why you set up safety precaution like I'm about to do right now. One, two, three, four. That is all I have. <laughs> so if the zombie comes in here, I'm sorry, guest. That's it's tough luck for you. No, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna make some more right now. I have oh, actually, I have I have the tools for the job. There we go. And now we finish this off. And I'm gonna need to get rid of that torch. And actually, I need some more torches out here. Torch, torch. I'll break this one. Ah, doesn't that look pretty? Look at that. 
Look at with the blue windows, it just like it's so classy. Look at this view you get as a guest, like into the jungle. It's just awesome. And if you want to use the pool, uh, unfortunately, you're going to need a VIP pass, so that's just not permitted. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm sure we'll work it out. Now, we need a carpet, at least on the entrance, at the very least. And I'm thinking, I haven't used purple a lot, so we'll go with a little bit of purple to brighten the mood. Uh, I don't know. I need another door, actually. Hey, where'd my stuff go? Oh, maybe I picked it up already. Remember, I made the doors, I dropped the stuff. Yeah, hopefully I picked that up, but we'll see. Okay, so this looks guesty. It looks like you have your privacy. Go in, you have everything. Study, bed, nice doors to the balcony, a nice purple carpet, complimentary carpet, that is. And maybe we'll connect that up like that. Mm. Yeah, you know what, I think we'll leave it like that. Uh, I think we need some other carpet though. What other carpet do I have? What goes well with purple? Pink, and that's exactly what I don't have. I have it here. Uh, magenta maybe? Actually, that would be a good mix to mix in. But I think I might just leave it like this for now. This is a very well decorated room. I th maybe, maybe not. I don't know what you guys think. Maybe we need to add some more decoration. Actually, wait a sec. Almost forgot the ladders. How many ladders do I need? Not that many. How many does this make? Three. How many do I need? We'll see in a sec. Do I need more than three? Let's check. No, actually. Oh, I do have to place it wrong. Okay, perfect. There we go. That looks good. All right. So that'll be the end of this episode. So meet me on the 55 roof in three two one yeah so i was having a little bit of a glare down with a creeper here he was eyeing me down i didn't like the look in his eyes so i kind of i scared him away though he's gone so don't don't worry about it we'll all be safe um but today i'm giving a nice uh warm kind hot shout out to two people on the 55 roof here today Firstly, Jdjrt, Jdjrt. So basically, he's pretty new. I think he came a few days ago to my channel, and he went through pretty much all my videos. I don't know if he went on every single one, but he commented on a whole bunch of different ones. So I know he f he saw a good variety of them, and I mean that's just amazing. Thank you so much for all the support and having you know, the time and the patience to watch this series grow from the start and starting now too. And the last person I remember uh, doing that was Tim Vide back in the day. I don't know where he is. Oh yeah, it's now, I changed BTM videos. Tim, Tim, BTM videos. Ah, ah now I have to go around. So yeah, that's the last time I remember that. So that's pretty cool. Although all of you have been sticking around pretty much since the beginning. So that I am super appreciative of, and I'm not appreciative of the lag, <laughs> but yeah, that's something I'm really appreciative of. And this Jidurch did an awesome job. Secondly, my good friend Vincent. So Vincent's actually my friend uh, at school, and he started playing on the server. I didn't even know he played Minecraft until I made the server, and he watched my videos, decided to go on it. And he's, I'm, I don't, I'm not going to speak for everyone, but I saw his base, and I'm pretty sure he's single-handedly wrecking most of us. Now, he did kind of no-life it and play for like 48 hours straight, but I'm pretty sure that with the base I saw, he is destroying us, or at least destroying me. So yeah, I gave him a shout-out. I don't have, I don't have any other real-life friends that play on the Minecraft server, so yeah, I thought I'd give him a shout-out. Other than that, guys, I'd like to thank you for watching this episode. If you haven't already, get in the mix and tell your friends to get in the mix too, of course. And if you like our underground city, which I think is super epic, make sure you click the like button. It only takes like two seconds. Helps me out a huge amount. Lets me know if you guys really enjoy the episode. Other than that, I'd like to thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.